Hi, my name is uh, Suresh Srinivas. Um, I am an HDFS committer and a PMC member. Welcome to this uh, short video on uh, Hadoop Distributed File System. HDFS, uh, our Hadoop Distributed File System, is a highly scalable file system. Uh, currently, we have plans of going to a cluster of size uh, 6,000 uh, nodes uh, with up to 128 petabytes. So essentially, HDFS is scaled by adding more commodity servers. Uh, and uh, this to scale the storage and the I.O. of the uh, file system. Uh, HDFS system supports parallel uh, reading and processing of data. Uh, it supports you know, read, write, rename, and append operations. It doesn't support uh, random write operations. Uh, typically, HDFS is used uh, uh, in, a, in a setting where it's optimized for streaming reads and writes of large files, uh, in, in a, uh, typically in MapReduce kind of uh, applications. Uh, with, in HDFS, the bandwidth scales linearly uh, with the number of nodes and the disks that you add to the cluster. The other key important thing uh, with HDFS is it is fault tolerant and hence easy to manage. The uh, data has built-in redundancy. Typically, multiple replicas of uh, the data is kept in the system. And it tolerates uh, disk and node failures because of this uh, built-in redundancy. Also, the, the, uh, the cluster manages uh, addition and removal of nodes automatically without uh, requiring any uh, operation, uh, operational intervention. And that's the reason why uh, the, the key point to remember here is uh, because of these, uh, one operator can support up to 3,000 nodes in a cluster, and that's a lot of nodes supported by a single person. In HDFS, uh, files are broken into blocks, um, and these blocks are typically uh, really large, uh, and they are typically of the size 128 megabytes. The blocks are stored as files on the data nodes, on the local storage of the data nodes. The blocks are replicated for uh, reliability. So typically, uh, the block replication factor is 3. In uh, HDFS cluster, uh, there is a node called name node that manages the file system namespace. So the namespace, uh, when, when, when I say namespace, I'm talking about directories and files uh, of the file system. And it also, the name node manages uh, also the mapping of uh, file to the blocks that belong to it. It keeps the entire namespace in memory, and, and, and this is what makes name node, uh, uh, name node uh, a sim much simpler design. And any changes to the namespace, such as addition of files, deletion of files, are journaled, and they are, uh, uh, they are stored on, persistently on a disk. Name node also periodically checkpoints the journal with the file system image and, and writes a new image. Let's uh, take a look at a um, setup of a large cluster. Large clusters are set up in, uh, two level, uh, with two level switches. Uh, the first level switch connects the racks of nodes. Uh, typically, our uh, uh, racks have 40 nodes of commodity servers, and they are all connected to a rack switch. And Within the rack, the bandwidth is uh, typically one gigabits, and this is uh, true for large clusters. These rack uh, switches are connected to a higher level switch, and there are multiple uplinks to the higher level switch, and this uh, connectivity is typically eight gigabits uh, per second. And so this is true for, this setup is true for uh, the uh, large clusters. In case of small clusters, one could have just a single rack of uh, servers, uh, all connected to a single switch, and in such small clusters, you could have larger bandwidth uh, within the cluster. HDFS uses uh, replication for the reliability of data. So typically, files are divided into blocks, and multiple replicas of a block is stored in HDFS. Typical replication factor for a block is three, but it is settable on a per file basis. Now, the replicas are placed on data nodes, and a client that is reading a block, it uh, usually reads it from the local node or the local rack where it is located. And always these blocks are written in a pipeline to uh, the number of replicas that is set for the file. And always the first replica is placed on the local node where the writer is. HDFS continuously monitors uh, the replicas that are in the system. 
Uh, some of the monitoring that is done in HDFS is there is a constant monitoring to see if replicas are corrupt or they are lost on data nodes. And there is also monitoring done for disk failures in the cluster and data node fa failures in the cluster. These failures re result in loss of replica and this is detected and immediately fixed by creating an other replica using the remaining replicas available in the system. The recovery of replica in HDFS done, is done in a parallel fashion. Uh, in a typical cluster of 100 nodes, 12 terabytes of data can be recovered in under five minutes. The other uh, thing about uh, you know, using replicas for reliability is in a study we did uh, in, a, uh, in a large cluster, we observed loss of 19 replicas out of 329 million replicas. This is equal to seven nines of reliability. And even the losses which we had seen, the 19 replicas that we lost, we uh, you know, fixed those bugs and even those should not occur. So given this active replica management, a failed disk need not be repaired, repaired immediately, unlike uh, some of the systems that use RAID for the reliability of data. Also, uh, failed nodes need not be repaired immediately. So typically in an HDFS cluster, the repair work is done periodically uh, once you know, some failures are accumulated over a period of time. The reliability of data coupled with you know, not needing to immediately uh, fix the problems in the cluster makes uh, HDFS easy to manage. And that's the reason why uh, we have seen deployments where there is a single operator managing upwards of 3,000 nodes. Hadoop is uh, used for storing large sets of data. And the previous paradigm where data is moved to where the computation is no longer works uh, with the kind of data sets that we are talking about. And hence, uh, one of the key points is to bring the computation to where the data is. And that is what is enabled uh, by HDFS and MapReduce. Yeah, HDFS uses large uh, number of commodity servers for storage, and MapReduce uses the same set of uh, uh, commodity servers for uh, computation. And hence, MapReduce jobs are co-located with the data that they are working on. MapReduce job is co-located with uh, the data that uh, it is processing. And that is the key point of bringing computation to the data. So to conclude this talk, um, HDFS provides a reliable, scalable, and manageable solution for working with huge amounts of data. HDFS has been deployed in clusters of you know, sizes anywhere from 10 to 4,000 data nodes. It is used in production at internet scale companies such as Yahoo, Facebook, Twitter, and eBay. It is also deployed in many enterprises, including financial institutions and companies. Hope you enjoyed this short video on HDFS. Please check out other videos on uh, heartandworks.com. Um, also check out our blogs.